In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enter the condition of packages or items that you received when you're scanning them in. Now, if you're scanning in something that has that everything looks fine, you just enter the barcode scan here and it goes happily in and puts the enter time in there. Now, if you receive a package that uh, is damaged or um, uh, unusable or some other thing with it, then you can uh, put a condition in here. You put the condition in before you scan you scan the item. So, um, so I'm going to put in here badly damaged, and I'll scan in my barcode. And let's say it's eight 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 eight, and press enter. So now, if I go to my products, I go and I see eight 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 eight, and this is when the time that it came in, but it's badly damaged. Now, somebody goes to your warehouse and wants to use this one, and so they're going to scan in um, 8888 and press enter, and now you're going to get the message uh, badly damaged, so you can't use it. So that's fine. So now you, you've fixed up the damage of the package or whatever it is, maybe it never gets fixed. But so you, you can um, delete the badly damaged now. And so you, it's now all back in working condition. And so you go back to your scanning sheet and you enter 8888. And it happily, as long as there is nothing in the condition field here, it'll happily enter in your exit time. So let me show you how I did this. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video, but let's go through it. First of all, I'm going to show you on sheet two, which is the scan in sheet. We I have this code so that it runs automatically. So it's basically if there's a change in this value in this cell here, then it's going to call the, this program and then it's application enable events true and, and if so what it's going to call is it's going to call this program here that I have in module one. And so here I've got a few things to find, like barcode string, ranges, and range, and so on. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define what the information that's contained on my scanning sheet is. So the barcode is, uh, is row two, column one, and the status is row two, column two. Now, if barcode is equal to nothing, then exit sub, this is... Uh, this is a nice thing to put in here just for the fact that sometimes when you have a blank one and you or delete it in the middle of stuff, it's going to have a problem with it. So this is a good safeguard. So if barcode does not equal blank, then what it's going to do is it's going to set the worksheet, this worksheet um, products as worksheet and worksheets activate. So now it's going to search for the barcode value in the A column. And so if the barcode is not found, then um, for what it's going to do is it's going to look in the A column for the blank cell. So looking for a cell equals zero. Now it's going to insert the information in the barcode and all the way across. And if there's a status there, it's going to put the status in, in the status cell. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go back uh, to the scan in sheet and it's going to clear all the values in here and then it's going to go to the end. Now, if it has found it, um, it's going to, then it, the next step it's going to do is it's going to search for the last value of that product. So if you've scanned in 888 a couple of times, you want it to take the last one. And so then when it finds the last one, it's searching, it's going to the first, uh, the first one it finds is the first row, and then it's searching from previous, and it's going to find the last one. Now, if uh, it's checking that the exit time field is empty, and if it's not empty, it's going to go to restart and put a new line in there. And if there is anything, now it's going to check and see if there's anything in the status cell. And whatever is in the status cell, it's going to show in the message bar with the status and then go to ND. So if there's nothing in the status bar, then it's going to enter the, um, the out time and then happily go along. So as I said, I will include this in the description of my video. Please subscribe.